Singapore Turf Club actively gives back to society. On top of donating generously to numerous charitable and welfare organisations, the Singapore Turf Club organises events and activities such as concerts, sports functions and blood donation drives throughout the year. One of our CSR efforts includes offering complimentary use of our off-course betting facilities for worthy causes and community functions. As a member of the Singapore Turf Board, the Singapore Turf Club has over the years contributed and donated to many worthy causes and projects at the national level. And now with 17 off-course betting premises and facilities, the club is positioned to serve the local needs of the community as well as volunteer welfare organisations. 20 youth leaders and scholars from different parts of the world were in Singapore to attend the inaugural Global Scholars and Leaders Conference 2010. Singapore Turf Club is proud to be one of the venue sponsors for the week-long event. Why we chose Turf Club as an events partner is because the Majestic itself is actually a conserved building. And in contrast, actually China Square is a very classy and chic place and it's actually located within this very old and traditional um, town. I feel that this whole the ambience of the um, of Majestic and Chinese Square is actually very, very exclusive. In fact, we find that it's actually very high-tech. I mean, you see all the LCDs all around, especially so when we are bringing all these foreign delegates. And so I hope it's an enriching experience for them. The Singapore Turf Club is an avid supporter of community activities. The Geelong Surai Citizens Consultative Committee held a seminar at the Winning Square at Singpost about leadership skills for its community leaders. The guest of honour, Associate Professor Fatima Latif, spoke at the seminar and presented a token of appreciation to the Turf Club for sponsoring the venue and being a supportive corporate citizen. They are in our constituency, they are part of the Geelong Surai family, so we welcome them. There are many ways in contributing back to the society and community. For us, during non-race day, the off-course betting premises and facilities are venues for many charitable causes, events and activities. Over the last one to two years, the OCB premises host or co-organise with partners, partners ranging from the Singapore Blood Bank to Kreta Aya Kim Seng CCC to Tuapayo Resident Committee in hosting and organising events for the residents, for the less fortunate in the society. The Chinatown Mid-Autumn Festival 2010 press conference was held at the Majestic by the festival organiser, Crater Ayer, Kim Seng Citizens Consultative Committee and graced by Dr Lily Nyo, Member of Parliament for Jalan Basar GRC and advisor to Crater Ayer, Kim Seng GROs. Singapore Turf Club is delighted to be the venue sponsor. We have chosen the Majestic because uh, it's a new venue at the same time, Majestic is a uh, very iconic uh, building in the whole of Chinatown. We discovered that the place was perfect for press conference, partly because they have a multimedia presentation, as well as a very open space and very informal setting for a press conference, which is quite different from others. And I believe the press and media will be very pleased with this kind of uh, setup. One of our outlets winning point at Tuapayo is regularly offered to Tuapayo Central Zone 6 Residents Committee to organise resident gatherings and events, such as Galantan Festival celebrations for more than 100 Tuapayo residents to mingle over food, games and prizes. Guest of honour that night was Dr Ng Eng Hien, Minister for Education and Second Minister for Defence. He liked the place very much and he complimented that we have a turf club here to support our activities and it's a good location. Singapore Turf Club has bought some table tennis equipment to provide sports opportunities for residents staying here. I'm sure my residents will enjoy the good recreation, sports and entertainment in this premise. I thank you to Singapore Turf Club. Many of our staff volunteer their time and effort in organising and assisting in the activities and have forged close bonds and friendships with the residents. Residents staying nearby also welcome the employment opportunities provided when the winning point opened in their neighbourhood. 
the less privileged in the community also benefit from our efforts. The Singapore Turf Club and Singapore Association of the Visually Handicapped jointly organised the SAVH Roadshow and launched the mobile massage service at International Plaza. The Singapore Turf Club actively supports the Singapore Association of the Visually Handicapped by providing venues for the mobile massage team to conduct their massage services. Twice a month, the Singapore Turf Club lets out a section of the winning point at Holland Drive for the mobile massage team to conduct massages for the residents and the public. The facilities are provided free and all proceeds go directly to the masseurs. The Singapore Turf Club opened up a section of the winning square at Sing Post for a special group of pottery enthusiasts who were on a field trip. Visually impaired potters, fondly called VIPs, and volunteers, fondly called angels. We have been potting uh, most of the time at the Singapore Association of Visually Handicapped. And thankfully to the Singapore Turf Club, we have had the opportunity to pot at this wonderful location. This place is really peaceful and nice. It's cooling, allowing the, the VIP and the angels to play with clay together in a, in a very conducive environment. Um, normally, these visually impaired people, they would never have a chance to enter into an off-course centre. So it is uh, also a very inspiration for them to come into a place like this, you know, to listen to the playback of the TV, you know, and uh, get a chance to just uh, absorb the vibration of a centre like this. The Singapore Turf Club is also a partner in saving lives. We join hands with the Singapore Red Cross Society to organise bi-monthly blood donation drives at International Plaza and at China Square centres. Our partnership started way back in 2008 when blood collection was conducted at Singapore Racecourse. And the latest addition of China Square as a donation venue provided yet another opportunity to save more lives. The idea of corporate responsibility is not only in doing charity but also enabling others to do charity. And in helping the Singapore Red Cross uh, providing convenience to blood donors and potential blood donors to do, donate blood during their work hours or even during their lunch time would uh, make Singapore Turf Club a partner in saving lives as far as the Singapore Red Cross is concerned. Through the myriad of activities and organisations that we support, the Singapore Turf Club hopes to play our part as a caring and socially responsible partner in the community.